Hi, this is Sunil from Learning Lab with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to get the square root and cube root of a number in C. So, for that purpose, we're gonna use functions called SQRT to get the square root and the CBRT to get the cube root. So, to use these functions, we need to include the math.h header file to your program. Okay, to get the square root, there are three functions available sqrt sqrtf and sqrtl and you can see here you know sqrtf is used for get the square root of a number of type float and uh, sqrtl is used to get the square root of a number of type long and also you know this sqrt is used to get the square root of a number of type double so this function is gonna return the square root of the number next to, to get the cube root of a number we're gonna use a function called cbrt and you know to get the cube root of a number of type float we need to use cbrtf and you know to get the cube root of a number of type long you need to use cbrtl and also you know these functions returns the cube root of the number passed okay now we're gonna see how we can use this function in our program okay now here just for the demonstration purpose we're gonna use a printf statement and I'm gonna say square root of mm, let's say 16 is percentage f and let me add a new line here and I'm gonna use a sqrt function so it's gonna be sqrt and uh, we need to pass 16 okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this printf statement and place it in the next line and this time we're gonna say cube root of let's say 125 is CBRT because you know to get the cube root we need to use CBRT of 125 okay I'm gonna save this one execute compile and run so you can see here square root of 16 is 4 and cube root of 125 is 5 Okay, this is it. This is about the short video tutorial on how to get the square root and cube root of a number in C. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learning and I'll see you in the next tutorial.